Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Heiner and in today's video I'm giving you a detailed overview about everything that has changed in Sharendal Masterwork. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you would like to see more information of it is about Neverwinter, hit the subscribe button. So, a couple of weeks ago, Masterwork was actually released on the live server, I think also on console. And a couple of things have changed ever since I made the update in the profession sheet, which was in October somewhere, so a lot of months ago. A couple of things were changed, there were also some of them in the patch notes, but in this video I want to go very detailed into what has changed. And of course this master worksheet will again be released uh, without the um, small old values that I added in here, of course, uh, it will be clean. Uh, but for the video, I've added some small notes to see what it was before the changes. So let's start with the recipes. That's where everything starts, right? So let's go from the top. Actually, not that much change in the recipes. Uh, one of the things that changes in alchemy, uh, the salty tears varnish now requires three weeping willows tears instead of one not sure why that is but okay um, that was changed um, unless of course i made the mistake at the start but i don't think so then we had an added item that was also in the patch notes by the way this is i think one there's i think two items now in masterwork that are not singular class so most items that you can craft in masterwork are for one class and one class only and i think this this item for some reason now is for all of the uh, the uh, low armor uh, class i think rogue bard ranger and not sure cleric something like that i don't know why but okay but this one is added. It wasn't in there, uh, but I added it, of course. Then, a lot of nothing, a lot of nothing, more nothing. There's two uh, commissioned items that changed. There were some errors, actually, in the old sheets, which also were shown in this um, profession sheet as errors. There were red lines here. There was the laminated adamant blade and the laminated steel blade. Those items were not possible to craft anymore because of the removal of some recipes um, and they're now removed from these recipes so those were fixes and what they did to replace them is they almost well they actually doubled all the other requirements here so this got a lot more expensive i don't think the laminated adamant blade was that expensive to replace one dawn silver animal two failed lumber and a soul fireflies not sure but uh, that sounds like a lot and here we got uh, two extra silver tongue moss we got two extra fable lumber and also one extra firewood flies uh, fire soul fireflies firewood flies uh let me see go quickly through more i think that was all of the recipe changes oh that was one extra ladder work item that was added it was also in the patch notes uh, of a couple of patches ago that's this lacquered leaf waders. I think they also are for multiple classes, so not sure what's going on there. But uh, they didn't change any other items as far as I could see really quickly. Uh, but yeah, that's all of the recipe changes already. So let's go to some other changes. The artisans didn't change. The tools did change. Uh, okay, this uh, I should still hide here. Let me see yeah let, let's go here um so here we have the sharendar masterwork um tools so the tools that you can craft using masterwork they were raised in proficiency and focus by 25 uh, for the regular ones and the plus ones both and then here these percentages for those who change uh, stay the same but now we have a difference here in percentage for the regular and the plus one uh, of seven and ten here uh, so they got a little bit better. I still don't really think this is really great for Tuos. It's not the best skill. Um, you would rather have Dab Handle Recycle. But talking about Recycle, uh, now we have the also the tools that you can get at Bronzewood. 
a bronze spin striker, striker bronze spin. The guy, the new master guy in Sharandar, uh, he gives you um, new tools for the commission, uh, 25k, and those gone up by quite a bit. So they went from 475 proficiency and focus to 575 uh, proficiency and focus. And that brings them very close to the four Hammer of Gaunt. And actually, the 25 difference in proficiency and focus is very much off that by the 10 recycle skill that is added on this uh, item. Oh, here's the name, Striker Bronzebud. So uh, I think for a lot of recipes, the new Fey tools that you get from Striker Bronzebud are going to be better than the four chamber of god and of course this spreadsheet will help you determine whether that is the case or not and i will demonstrate that uh, later on in the video uh, let me see supplements did anything change here i don't think so no all the same this stayed the same uh, unlocking prices this stayed the same so the 1.5 million was already in here and yeah the commissions um now i think yeah, you need to get 50,000 instead of 25,000. So this has been doubled. Uh, and some of the commissioned recipes, of course, got changed. Uh, I have some values filled in here, but not everything. So I cannot really rely on the values. But again, this tab will help you determine what to craft. Uh, for example, um, this commissioned blight blockers are very likely going to be a lot better than the commission 10 panels that require woven whiskers and frozen dons do and thorn ornaments these are very expensive so uh yeah is this cost of one so one of these costs seven million holy hell um yeah you're better off making uh, something like this if you want the new tools of course so let me see um items yeah items also things changed here let me see from the top uh the rings let me go to the rings first uh, we have four rings in jewel crafting the bottom three chain stayed the same uh, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on here um outgoing healing based of current hp so the la the less hp you have the more outgoing healing you get something like that um crit saf Maximum five stacks on a big hit, and uh, five percent incoming healing if you are hit hard might be okay for a tank. Uh, the one that changed is the damage after doing a daily. Uh, it used to always be three percent damage after doing a daily, and this one now gives six percent. So it has been doubled. Still, it's um yeah percentage damage isn't always fantastic, but this ring I might. Uh, for some classes, it might not be too bad. Although we have really good rings right now. Uh, like the Band of Air, of course. Which might get fixed. Anyway, uh, let's not go into that topic. Uh, also, these all changed, but I have a list somewhere. I have to zoom a little bit out. So, what we had. Um, we had for the head pieces. So, all the head pieces are all the same. And all the armor pieces are the same, and all the arms pieces are the same, and all the feet pieces are the same. So for the head pieces, um, it gave 5,000 crit when above 50% HP, and when below 50% HP, it gave 5,500 crit avoidance. Those numbers have now been upgraded to 7,500, both. Uh, for the armor, we get above 50% uh, uh, 7,500 power, uh, 5,000 power, and below 50% of the difference, also upgrade to 7500. Uh, the arms, it used to be above 50% HP, 5000 crit set, below 5500 deflect, it's now also 7500. And the feet item has been changed slightly, it used to be when above 50% HP you got 5000 accuracy, when below 10% movement speed. And now we get more power here, when above 50% HP and when below we get incoming healing. So the feed pieces, I don't know if that's an upgrade. Um, 
if you can fit the power in there, I guess. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I prefer this one, although the values are, of course, lower. Except for the 10% loop speed. I think, yeah, and then we have also the, the new tools here that used to be 475. Uh, did I update this correctly? Yes, no, 520. Uh, 525. I made it 575 for the plus one. So, at the beginning, or somewhere in the middle, uh, resources didn't change. I mentioned the uh, Forge Hammer not being the best uh, tool anymore for all your recipes. So, let's, let's see that. Uh, and for that, I need to show all the calculated values, of course. Um, as I said, the values that I added for the um, for the resources are not 100% updated. So I didn't go through the auction house and update all the values. But it doesn't really matter because whatever values fill, you fill in is going to be approximately the same. So let's go to a weapon. Uh, artificing. Let's go to the Feywood Longbow, uh, the Ranger main weapon. You can see here that with the Forge Hammer, the calculated success cost, so this is the cost to craft one of these, uh, with the 8% success chance, 80.21, this is going down, and the success chance is 5.1 million, approximately, 5.99,000. 5, uh, 5, if we change the tool for artificing, and that's this one, to the Fey tool. So we have 575 each and 10% recycle. And we go to the recipe, you can see that the, the chance to succeed is lower, but because you also have a chance to get your resources back on a failure, the average cost to succeed actually goes down slightly. It's not a big difference, so, it, you shouldn't have to worry a, uh, a lot about it if you're crafting your own stuff. But for those really uh, heavy master workers, this might make a difference. Because it can be a rough place uh, crafting stuff for master work. And every little margin helps. So, uh, I think that is all the changes. Of course, more has changed. So we have all these items. Uh, and we went through the equip bonuses, but what actually changed most of all is the stats on all of the Sharandar gear. And I have to go through all of that for the character builder, and uh, I might cover it there, but probably not in that detail. Um, but yeah, a lot of the stats on this gear has changed. It's not a massive deal, I think, but it did happen. Uh, and it might have something to do with these equip bonuses as well. I don't know for sure. Anyway, if you have any remarks on this video or any suggestions on what to investigate next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.